The love of money. We are living in a world today where the love of money seems to have created an imbalance of wealth within society. You often hear people briefly explain that while being at work, there were unrealistic expectations placed upon them to perform their duties within a specific time frame, disallowing one to absorb their working procedures adequately and for many without the necessary training, leaving the employee feeling exhausted and stressed by the end of the day, having handled a tremendous amount of information. It appears that some employers seem to have an unhealthy work ethic determined by unrealistic targets, placing the employee under tight deadlines to bring about a quick profit. This has resulted in various organizations having a revolving door of employees as those who do not meet company expectations due to unrealistic demands end up either leaving their job, go on sick leave or are dismissed. This, I believe, has created an unhealthy work and home life balance, as surely there is a need for one to function in a world where there is adequate support at work in order to provide services and return home at the end of the day to support and nurture families. What does the Bible say about wealth? 1 Timothy chapter 6 verses 7 to 10 states, For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and raiment, let us be therewith content. But they that will be rich fall into temptation, and a snare, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith, and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. But thou, O man of God, flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. We see today within our own nations that the labor workforce has been distributed to various countries, which in my view has created an unbalanced wealth association, which appear to keep the poor poorer and the rich richer. Surely there is something wrong with this structure, as it does not seem to consider the community within our own nations as a whole. Each nation has a responsibility to support business development within communities, nurturing financial growth and providing employment. Whilst the invention of computers may be a good source of communication, it has created a digital platform reducing the need for people to interact and provide community support or services. In my opinion, this does not help the community to thrive and develop financially as, for example, self-pay checkouts, robots stacking shelves in supermarkets, and now the use of robots laying bricks to build houses reduces the need for people to be employed in these roles, therefore removing financial support to the individual and their families. The community as a whole relies on business growth and employment to keep societies functioning. If organizations have unhealthy demands for quick profits, this will in turn affect the well-being of the community. Replacing people with robots is not the solution either, as this not only removes employment, but creates dependency on the government for support. Most people would like to be engaged in the workforce for a living, producing an economic equilibrium. Money itself, although holds no value, is the medium used for measure of wealth, an exchange for goods and services. The love of it, the Bible refers to as the root of all evil, as when one acquires a considerable amount of wealth, if their desire for money increases and becomes an idol in one's heart, fearful of losing it and greed it takes over, they seek ways to have total control over it, manipulating society for their benefit. This is what will drown men in destruction and perdition, as mentioned in 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 9. God bless.